relax. It's ASMR. Hello, everyone. We have another punch pack. Last month's went awry because I did not have video selected on my camera. So I only took some pictures. But this time I've made sure I can see the countdown running. I know that I'm shooting video. So I am apologize if you missed my munch pack for a month. But we have a new one. And we have new artwork on it as well. We've got the same smiley face. But this time we have the cities of the world kind of arrayed around the face in a circle. Which I kind of like. So let's see what we have for this month. Start a little space here. can tell this one got a little damaged in shipment. Something fell on it pretty hard and pushed it in. But the rest of the box seems to be holding up. I think it did its job. There's a dent here and then a huge dent there. But hopefully that hasn't made too much of a difference in the content. I already smell strawberry or something. Okay, here is our booklet. We have snacks from Canada, Spain, Philippines, and more. Double Dutch honey vanilla stroopwafel. I'm already in love. Crown Maichu apple. Orange yogurt drink. Awesome. Let's move the paper and see what we got. Very colorful. Here is a it's like a corn snack with honey on it. I'm guessing this is South Korea, based on the writing. And it looks like it has poppy seeds or something embedded into the snack. These are Zaps potato chips. New Orleans kettle style evil eye. I don't know what flavor evil eye is. And we have a little, little voodoo doll up here at the top. It says, Beware the evil eye. The famous New Orleans voodoo queen, Marie Laveau, was rumored to have one. In this spirit, Zapp's Evil Eye Kettle-style potato chips are subtle with mild heat, yet bursting with flavor. Experience the essence of New Orleans with Zapp's Evil Eye. Try if you dare. So it's still no clue on the actual flavor. It's interesting. It says not for sale in California. But then it says, enjoy great tasting anywhere in the USA, but not in California. I don't understand. 
but hopefully it's still delicious. Okay, here we go. Oppenheimer USA Chick Chock Everything Flavored Snacks. Again, slightly ambiguous. What does everything mean? Is it licorice and lavender and jalapeno? I'm reading, let's see, still no clue. Well, we have two mystery flavors. I love it. I'm assuming they are savory and not sweet. We have pepperoni, pretzel sticks with chocolate inside of them. That sounds really good. Usually they do the chocolate on the outside. But these are filled with chocolate. Here we have a drink. This is a yogurt orange flavored drink. It is not, it is yogurt flavored. It is not actually yogurt. Um, sometimes they have like the yogurt in the little pouches and stuff that you drink. But this is Fanta, and it looks delicious. Carbonated soft drink. Here we have a gummy. This month's gummy is Watermelon Slices by Vidal. I think these are from Spain. Very cool. Made for Vidal in Spain. There you go. Here is the Stroop Waffle Honey Vanilla Double Dutch Holland's favorite cookie. I think it's the world's favorite cookie. Our traditional Stroop waffles are perfect for your morning coffee or as a tasty snack any time. These are from Canada. Nice. Nice use of a font here. It's kind of big and chunky with a slight drop shadow on it. Here we have N-U-C-I-T-A Nusita. I'm not saying that correctly. It's got a little dragon. He's taken apart the cookie and is eating the cream out of the middle of the cookie. So because we have a chocolate cookie on top and a vanilla cookie on the bottom. And then a strawberry filling. So it's kind of a Neapolitan cookie. And here is some more Gummy Sour Extremes, Extreme Z, Extremes, Strawberry on a Roll, Fruit, Fritzy, and this is a product of Thailand, so we'll see how sour those really are. Some more gummies. These are Silly Straws, Apple, Lemon, Strawberry, and Mixed Berries, Yummy Gummies. They are 100% yummy. So if you ever in doubt of how yummy they are, they are 100% yummy. These are... to see where they were made. I always try to like guess from the package instead of just read it. Here we go. Product of Turkey. So they seem to have like a white center of some sort of cream or maybe that's sour flavor. I don't know. And then we have, I guess it's technically 
a gummy, it's chewy, it's a taffy type. Apple flavored, it has vitamin C. And it looks like this is also from, this may be Japan or China. I don't think this is South Korea. We'll have to look this one up. This has all different types of writing all over it. So it's kind of hard to tell. So there is our box unboxed, our snacks unboxed. And now we will move on to chowing down. Okay, so here we have all of the food that was in the mud pack, plus the drink, which we're going to put right here off camera. So we're going to start with savory, as always, and work our way to sweet. We have a significant amount of sour gummy candies and snacks, and not a lot of chocolate in this one, and that's fine. Variety is good. We have a little bit of chocolate here in these, and then technically we have a chocolate cookie in these as well. So, savory, sour, chewy, and then sweet. Pure sweet, because these are sweet, but you know what I mean. So, and I put the honey here because it's kind of in between, completely savory and sweet. So, the big mystery, of course, is these two snacks right here. I don't know what everything flavor, unless it's like an everything bagel. But they don't say everything bagel. They just say everything flavored snacks. So, we'll see. Slice along the top here. the bag open. We'll start with smelling them and see if we can deduce anything from there. Okay, I smell corn. And I smell a little bit of a barbecue flavor. Hmm. Definitely a strong corn snack flavor and a hint of barbecue. There are other things in here, but I'm not sure. Let's see if I can read the ingredients. It just says spices, palm oil, starches, flavorings. Sugar, col food coloring, spices, flavor enhancers, vegetable stabilizers. This is a product of Israel. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of the flavors come from the way they're cooked. They seem to be toasted slightly. And there's a bubbly texture here. Yeah. I think for something called everything flavor, I would expect a little bit more flavor than what I'm getting. That one is just burnt to a crisp. They're okay. It's basically lots of corn flavor with just a little hint of barbecue. So everything seemed to be not everything. So now let's try Evil Eye Potato Chips. It says these are New Orleans kettle style. These seem to be a dark red color. Mm. Now that's really good. It does have some heat to it, a little bit of a kick. 
It's a ketchup flavor. I'm also wondering if there's a little bit of mustard in there as well. Potatoes, peanut oil, dehydrated tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce, citric acid, onion powder. So no mustard, but a very big tomato flavor. And then a Worcestershire, Shire, Worcestershire flavor. Worcester? I think it depends on where you're from, how you pronounce that word. Is it a word that is very easily overpronounced? But I like those a lot. I like ketchup flavored potato chips in general. And these are like ketchup with a little bit of a tang and then a little bit of a heat. Nice. Okay. Let's break out the Fanta orange yogurt flavored drink. That is really good. It is a combination of a dream sickle, which is a common frozen popsicle when I was a kid. And another reference to when I was a kid, I think I've made this analogy before. There was a type of aspirin that was a bare aspirin, and it had an orangey flavor to it. And you chewed them up, and they're really small, and they had a light orange um, coloring to them. And it's kind of a combination between that and the dreamsicle, which is delicious. Because those bare aspirins were, they weren't tasty, but they were not uh, repulsive. They did a good job of making a flavor that you didn't mind to eat, but it wasn't like you were trying to go chase them down like candy. Okay, I think we've had these before. These are corn with uh, honey flavor, and then they have these sesame seeds. These are good. They kind of look like a churro as far as the texture and the way they were cooked. They're puffed a little bit and they have that same kind of crunchy. Definitely more on the sweet side. Lots of honey. The sweetness balances out the corn of the chip. This one has, this one got a ton of sesame seeds. I think the sesame seeds are more for texture and color than flavor. But maybe there's a little hint at the very end. So now, let us venture into chewing Lots of chewy things. Let me take another drink here. So let's start with the watermelon. And we'll move to the gummy straws. And we'll finish up with what they're saying is super sour. Extremes. Oop. 
a um, obviously come assembled in a set. Very stringy, very, it's almost like they've gotten warm and hot, which is entirely possible with the shipping. Okay, let's see. Nice watermelon flavor. It's not an aggressive stickiness that wants to glue my teeth together. So that's nice. And there's no real sour component to this. It's mostly just um, sugar. There may be a little bit dusting of citric acid on it. Yeah. Okay. The rest of these are better separated. That was a amalgam. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of watermelon flavored candies, but this is good. It doesn't taste too chemically. It tastes artificial, but it doesn't taste chemically. some apples and berries and lemon. What should we try? I think we've had something similar to this in one of the other boxes. Let's try a kind of a mixed berry. Smells very sweet. Mm -hmm. Now this I actually really like. There is a gummy texture, but it is surrounding a like packed powdered sugar interior and then coated with just sweet sugar on the outside so it smells like a candy shop this is that really kind of refined sugar smell so that when you eat it you get a little bit of the chewy of the texture of the gummy but then it quickly mixes with the powder of the sugar and it's a very, very lovely texture. I would go so far as to say this is probably one of the best gummy candies that I've had in a munch pack. The berry flavor is nice, but it's basically just sugar and a little bit of flavoring and then texture. It's not trying to knock my socks off with sourness. It's not trying to stick into my teeth. That is a winner. So good job. Nasib International, made in Turkey. So that is awesome. Okay, sorry. 
Now let's move on to extremes. Kind of a fruit by the foot look here. We have a bright red gummy strip with a dusting of sugar and other things on it. You can tear it if you need to. Mm -hmm. There's a surprisingly large amount of flavors working their way through my mouth right now. There's not a lot of sour, but what is sour actually kind of sneaks up on you. It doesn't hit you right away. But there is an undercurrent of like a chemically, a very artificial strawberry flavor. This isn't bad, but it's definitely artificial. But then I think I'm getting a chemical flavor for whatever makes up the gummy material. And that's what kind of stays in your mouth afterwards. So it's okay. But there's a lot going on with this. Some of it good, some of it yeah. I would say that was average as far as a gummy candy goes. Got orange and strawberry and watermelon and berry and now we're gonna do apple. This these type of chews are a little bit more grown up. They're not necessarily aimed at kids. I think they're kind of aiming at the bubble gum, at the chewing gum market, without having something that you're committing to having in your mouth for a half hour. Nice, lovely yellow. You'd almost expect it to be banana flavored, but it's kind of the whitish yellow of the inside of an apple. That's nice. Strong taffy consistency. This would be slightly easier to chew as it warms up. Kind of an apple flavor. Very mild flavor. It's not bad. It's basically apple flavor of a very average, like Fuji apple, or maybe even a Macintosh apple. It's not like the bright crispiness of a Honeycrisp apple. So, not bad. But I will save that for later, because it takes so long to chew through those type of taffy candies. Okay, and now... We come to the sweet part. Now we saved the chocolate for last, so it kind of gives us the way in which we're going to attack this. We have another honey flavored snack. Usually our stroop waffles come near the end, but we're gonna switch things up this time. There's a little little 
notch right there we can get to it from. Now honey vanilla is a different type of flavor. Usually these have like a maple syrup or chocolate flavor as the predominant. But let's see. Not as chewy as something that had like caramel in it. So it's almost more like the cookies are just soaked in other. I don't think they are. I think it's actually captured in there, but you're pretty much immediately chewing on the chew the cookie texture. The honey is very subtle. You're mostly tasting the cookie and the vanilla. And it's just the honey kind of just in the background, which is nice. Mm. I like it. And so now we'll come to this kind of cookie. His little kitty dragon mascot on it. It's a little broken. We'll do this one here. So we have a little dragon with the very bright pink magenta color of the filling sticking through. And here we have him in chocolate. This looks a little bit more disturbing with the eyes and the mouth looks like they're having some problems there. But let's see. Kind of dry. Not a whole lot of filling, surprisingly, considering to show him on the front kind of scooping it up with his finger. I'm not getting a whole lot of chocolate. The cookies taste about the same. It's predominantly just a sweet cookie texture, sugar. A little bit of that kitty chocolate flavor kind of in the back of your throat. Those chocolate cookies that I would have as a kid. I don't know if it's artificial or it's just there's not much chocolate in it. But it tastes mostly kind of just like baked cookie. That was a little better. His eyes are shining at you. So let's try breaking this open. You see the filling is practically non-existent. It does have a strawberry flavor. If there was more of it, I think this would be a really good cookie. Because the strawberry flavor tastes really good. There's just not enough of it to hold up against the flavor of the cookies. Okay. Now. We will follow the instructions and open them here. So these are just sticks of pretzel material that are hollow and filled 
with chocolate. I'm going to take a drink to clear my palate. I think we've had something very similar to these, if not the exact same thing, before. Pretty basic in flavor. That is just pretzel with just a little bit of chocolate. Let's see. Yeah, I guess you could say it's a pretzel flavor. It's not a strong pretzel flavor. I think I'm missing salt, because normally when you get pretzels, you get salt. also not a very strong chocolate flavor. Very mild. So, here's what we have in this month's box. Some very good snacks this time. Clean up my mess here. Got lots of little tabs of paper everywhere. So my favorite from this box would definitely be, surprisingly enough, these gummy straws. I am as shocked as anyone else. Those were really good. My next one would be these potato chips here. I really like those. And of course, anything that is Stroopwafel is going to be amazing. And the drink was really good as well. So, thank you to Munchpack for providing me another month of snacks to unbox and try for you all. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, and give this video a like. That will help raise my channel and awareness, and that would be good for other people to discover if you think that is true. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.